It's so far down. <laughs> <laughs> there it goes. <laughs> We're gonna have to hand it off. Can we start like a chain here? <laughs> <laughs> you just dropped something. It was only the gun. Here. <laughs> You will just never guess what has happened. Someone needs to teach this kid how to drive. <laughs> or get a vehicle with some tires on it. The winter continues. The old Yankum rope's really getting to work out this year. At least it's got a hitch. point up more so you don't break my rope. Why won't it respond? Because you got to go in the settings and raise it oh, up manually. Jeez. How's it going today? Well, the winter that don't don't stop giving. Let's see, there's so many buttons again. There you go, right there. Yep. Green check button. Turn the knob all the way to the top. Other way. There you go. Actually, I think that's the drop speed. Super! <laughs> Great! Awesome! Yeah, that's the one you want there. Okay, how okay. do you uh, run this big buggy? Did he I leave the keys? Uh, let's hope he did. I see his footprints up to the shed were quite wide in distance, so he must have been running. <laughs> I'm, I'm late for work type of deal. Let's see how this goes. You're riding on the blower. been asking me how come we don't run studded tires here in conditions like I, this. I wish we could. But we can. Minnesota won't Minnesota. allow it. South Dakota does. Maybe they should have a border where you could run studded tires in Minnesota. It could be west of west of that jungle, the concrete jungle. And us people out here, we, we need them. <laughs> in fact, somebody even asked about semi-tires. I've never even heard of a Unless they just meant big grip tires or something, but... Oh, That's oh. what he needs, is big grip well, tires. what kind of tires do we have here? Factory, just straight... Oh, that yeah. ain't not... That's nothing. No. That's a summer tire. He needs new rims, some big... Let's get him rims twice the size and then some big <laughs> rock-throwing thing. Lift kit. It's a renegade, ain't it? Is that... Well, yeah, a it's a renegade, and it. it... You would make... Sure think with the name that it would be more renegade -ish. No wonder he... I've never really looked at him before, but that's... That's something for the summer. <laughs> okay, well, thanks, Yankum. Yeah, in the link in the description. Yankum. Yeah, no, it was a pretty, pretty low-key uh, pull-out here, People but... People don't like it when we pull from that little ball. <laughs> no, I know that, but that was pretty low-key pulling. Gotta use uh, why do you head. drive into that? Well, that drift up there, that little baby drift that I was going to let the sun thaw off. Got him all concerned and got it stuck and he he floored it and he said it shot him back there and then just like last time, stuck. Well, I'll Don't see you. fall. Just bow one down. Just then you look like me. <laughs> we'll see you at the farm. <laughs> what a little... Oh! I couldn't even fit in this thing. You wanna see what four miles of gravel roads does to your garage in the spring? Look at this. We keep the shop floor in just such pristine, pristine condition and this is what Duggo's garage looks like. <laughs> Look at the vehicle. Oh my. 
Yeah, it's something. It's something with all the slush on the roads when it melts, it just, look at that. I would uh, wipe in wash me on it, but kids don't do that. If I ever catch you doing that, I might have to yell at you because it scratches the paint and the glass if you do that, so don't do that. He's given up on caring. You don't ever allow piles to be pushed up around here, but he says winter's coming, so winter's coming. Winter's over. Sure don't look like it's over. I want to show you guys this. This is the road that dad lives on. And the snow is so high now that it's up to the, the sign. And they bent the sign with the snow from the plow getting pushed up here. This is solid. Back there is probably seven feet high. It's just unbelievable, man. And this week, it's all been 30s and snowing, a little bit of rain. Next week's 40s, and the week after that, I think they're talking 60s, 70s, so it might be then flooding conditions uh, if it goes to 70 and stays there a while. But I'm more than welcome for the warm weather. I'm very excited to see that number in the forecast. Are we having fun? It's not coming. <laughs> a little tight. So, brakes. All brakes on the truck, except the pusher axle's good. They're brand new. You want, you just love the job so much. No. <laughs> so that truck needs to go in, get uh, its yearly inspection done to it. We know the brakes aren't going to pass, so we get to replace front and all drive. They're just to the point where they probably ain't gonna pass them for another year. You wanna tell them what the... That's the fastest brake nope. job I've ever done. He took, he took them off and compared the old to the new and is like, I think these are like not that old. So we're not changing them. I blame the dog. That, that, I do too, because he's the one that was like, we got to do brakes on the front. Didn't even look at him. <laughs> Should have looked at him, I guess. We just trust What was that coming to get? I don't know. But there's definitely bad ones back here. He's got to come off, do the brakes there, and... We might have a leaky wheel seal on that axle, but we'll know more when we get the drum off. Well, new week, and same problem. Took them off to get at the brakes, found leaky wheel seals, bearings need to be done. So, Monday morning, we got parts. We're slamming it together. We did do all of the, or those two did, the other brakes, but we did have two leaky wheel seals, so that's a part of having it apart to do that. Where? Yeah, I know. The proper way to do this right here. <laughs> yeah, someone's been in there before us and done some sketchy stuff, and then we had to do some sketchy stuff, but she's good. Right. Yeah, 225. Let's see if the little Brody's got it in him. He's rounding the corner, ready to get his shoulder into it. Here we go. Oh, there he got her done. That was nothing. <laughs> this is the funnest part, sliding in the axle shaft and then you gotta try to get that spline shaft in the splines inside the rear end. Yeah. There's the fun. There it is. ready for drum and tires. Come on! We got the thing completed, or the wheels are back on. I think we're gonna pull it over the pit and maybe grease it, set the brakes up, and then we have to add oil to the rear ends, but isn't this a change? The geese are here, all within a half a week. Geese are here, it's 45, sunny, Whew, what a spirit lifter. Well, it's that time of the year again where it's gotten warm enough thawing, which is a good thing, uh, but we have to put our lift pumps into our tile system up north. Pretty poor 
we have to have stand in five feet of water. So we're gonna do that now, hopefully. This is heavy, I can't lift this by myself, Eric. And they've laid here <laughs> since we took them out last fall. We maybe but need another hose clamp. Where are you gonna put them? Where are you gonna put them? You haven't moved this yet? It's so heavy I can, I'll take this nice light in. <laughs> you got the cord? Yeah, that'll come with. My wrist just popped. <laughs> go this, go that. I got waders with multiple holes in them. Good. And they're size 11, which doesn't fit my feet, so I don't even have to worry about wearing them. Okay. Uh, we're missing a hose clamp here, so it's just held on by one. Oh yeah, I think I remember that. We only had one because the hose clamp was too small when we upgraded pumps, so we just, we just sent her home with one because we I'm, had to put two together. I'm sure this is rusted to the PVC, now it's rusted. <laughs> Look at his pickup. We chose his pickup to use due to he lives on gravel and yeah. Road good. conditions are great, huh? Oh boy, it's slowing yeah. down here. Sloppy. Good this is my... a one lane road now. She's a little deep. Well, we're like 15 miles from the farm and it's a lot wider up here than it is around the farm. But we have to get the pumps in and because this normally turns into like a small lake here. Oh no. Good. I just filled my boot full of snow. Can you pack it down for us? Yep, that feels good. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Not enjoying this. Well, it's definitely gonna pump something. It's so far down. <laughs> <laughs> there it goes. <laughs> We're gonna have to hand it off. Can we start like a chain here? <laughs> <laughs> you just dropped something. It was only the gun. Here. <laughs> this is what it's like to have a Mickey Mouse setup. Oh, yeah. She's cheap, but okay. very laborsome. I'm gonna need that. Looks really short. How much water's in there? She's, she's uh, this is the hole that full. that comes through buried down in the snow. Oh, yeah. Setting up a pump <laughs> in the snow. <laughs> Where is the little insert? Did you locate it? Are we ready for power? No. All right, deucing her up. It's working. Switch them and see if one plug-in is working or not. I don't know, the circuit breaker was off to one of them. All right. For the rest of the... It's gonna get below freezing in four days. It'll be fine. It's underground. Don't look like there's water out there, but somewhere there is. Well, another job completed. Not a one of us would want the job of sitting there and pumping all day long. What do you even mean by that? Pumping? Well, think of how much work they got to do this year. All right, guys, back home safe and sound. It's great to see water again instead of snow and the beautiful smell in the air of spring. It is amazing, except for the slop. That's not amazing. All right, we'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.